I think it's safe to say that last year's The Batman was one of the best comic book movies to come out over the last decade. From the fantastic action sequences to the amazing cast, there were little to no flaws in Matt Reeves' masterpiece. Well, except for one. And it actually has nothing to do with the movie itself. My problem lies in the Lego sets. Not you, Noir. You've been great. For such a fantastic movie, you'd think LEGO would have gone all out on the minifigures and models. However, there's much to be desired. From the useless $15 motorcycle pursuit, to the Riddler having hair popping out from the top of his mask, LEGO really needed to fix some of these problems. But you see, that's where I step in. I'm a custom LEGO minifigure and set designer, creating masterpieces like this. And today, I've teamed up with my good friend Poison Bricks to deliver you guys an improved LEGO set based on the movie. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe. Let LEGO know you want to see them do better, because as the late great Ole Kirk Christensen said, only the best is good enough. Today, we're mainly going to focus on one set in particular, that being the Batmobile. This set is clearly based on the scene in which the Batman and Commissioner Gordon chase the Penguin. Holy God, what are you this showing me? Hey, come on! Open your eyes! However, the set is noticeably missing Gordon and the Penguin's car, and for a set called Penguin Chase, it'd be over pretty quickly, since the Penguin is going to be pretty slow on foot. So taking all of these notes into account, we cooked up the ideal LEGO model, that also features upgraded minifigures and an upgraded build. So let's jump in, shall we? The first minifigure we have is of course Bruce Wayne aka The Batman. In my opinion, LEGO's depiction of Pattinson's Batman is one of the worst DC figures we've ever seen. And although the artwork is pretty decent, LEGO deciding to use the 2012 cowl was not a good choice. So here I decided on a brand new cowl piece, which goes straight down to the minifigure's eyes, removing the need to have that stupid white band across the top of its head, which also means we can include the black makeup around his eyes, which turned out pretty cool. He also has a brand new armor piece as well as a custom batarang that can be posed in his hand, similarly to the wand seen in Lego Harry Potter. And finally I also included an alternate head as well as a hair piece, which I feel better represents Pattinson's likeness compared to the Lego version. Let me know what you think of this upgrade in the comments below. And here we have the Penguin. Penguin is one of my personal favourite characters in the movie, he's pretty great. One thing that's not great however is the hairpiece Lego used for the character. It just doesn't fit the balding look of Oswald Cobblepot from the movie. Another thing I fixed was his facial expressions and also his eyebrows. The character is quite expressive and I don't think Lego fully achieved his look from the film. Also included is his umbrella. And finally we have Commissioner Gordon. The Lego minifigure was actually pretty good, however, it just needed some slight improvements. For example, the hairpiece Lego used on the minifig is total whack, not even using the same texture as Gordon's hair in the movie. And so to fix this, I took some inspiration from Nate's minifigs on Instagram, who had the great idea to take a thin hairpiece and recede the hairline slightly. This works perfectly for Gordon. Then, I slightly updated the torso, now giving him a more accurate black tie. The minifigure also comes with a bunch of accessories, such as a handgun and a flashlight. Also included is the computer with El Rada Alada on it. It's La, La Rada. Is this Riddler stupid or something? Sorry, La, La Rada Alada. My bad. And so, with our newly redesigned minifigures out of the way, let's take a look at the remodeled Batmobile which we really wanted to get right. And since the Batmobile in the movie is a remodeled muscle car, we took a lot of inspiration from other LEGO releases. Although we've scaled the model down, the Batmobile is still packed with details, both on the interior and exterior. It seats two minifigures and we've also kept the play feature in to attach power blast pieces to the side of the vehicle. It's less blocky than its original design and it really fits in as a more detailed Speed Champions-esque build. As I mentioned earlier, we decided to scale up the set, now also including Penguin's getaway car, which uses a really cool purple and gold colour palette. Of course, seating two minifigures, I think it really adds something refreshing to the wave. And to give Commissioner Gordon something to do, we've also included a police barrier as well as a road spike, which if you're a long time LEGO fan, you may remember appearing in one of the old LEGO movie sets. Now let's put all of the builds and all of the minifigures together, creating set 76021. Pursuit of the Penguin, an entire redesign of the original model, even featuring brand new box art. I think we've really managed to improve over LEGO's design, and although we decided to make the model more adult oriented, we still included a number of play features that work to the set's benefit. So, what do you think of this redesign? Is there anything else we should have included? 
And what set should we fix next? Let us know in the comments below. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye and take care.